Inside the street. And I had to use a stock joke to prove it, but the no Brooklyn joke would actually work as a test. Aside from the fact that if there was a giant Muslim Al Qaeda plot to overtake the government, to overtake the White House, do you think they'd use a black man? There are white looking Muslims, you know. We could have avoided all of this drama. That's another thing. Okay, but if you're all Muslim, what is the whole big deal about being a Muslim in America? We've always had Muslims. I don't understand. We always have everybody. You know, this is what said to me. This is a Christian nation. Well, you know, they should have put a sign on the on on the on the big fat lady sitting in the ocean. What's her name? Lady Liberty could have held the sign and on the way that said, Christians only, sorry, go back home. That was not on the sign, was it? But all of a sudden now, like this last year, all of a sudden now we're only Christians? This is this is insane. Okay. Next topic. Now we start hearing again, even more so. Well, he's 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 not from here. His birth certificate is from somewhere else. My friend shows up. I'm voting for him, but it's uh, I'm sorry. I think he's a nice guy and all that, but <clears throat> even Barack himself admitted he was from somewhere else. People, do you actually think they would let a black man take over the White House and who they might think is Muslim to take over the White House without checking his identification? Have you ever visited the White House? Have you ever visited a White House party? Do you know that? They pretty much take a butt print to let you in the White House. But this guy's gonna move in in all his black family and have all these parties and barbecues on the front lawn. Really? That's that's nothing to do. Okay. My friend says, but uh, he admitted it himself. In fact, I'll find it in the YouTube video. I said, yo, you go and find it. And you know what happened? After he said that not three minutes, his tooth fell out of his mouth. He literally, he went, uh, 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 I got these fire grill and his, his tooth fell out of his mouth. And at that moment, I became religious and said, you know, God is actually trying to send a message. He ran out of the house, holding his tooth, never to return. Now, the country got upset again. Why? Because he got a Nobel Peace Prize, which was not given by an American. It was a Nobel Peace Prize. And they said, you have to do some level of something to do with peace. And humble Barack actually said, well, I don't know what I did to deserve this. Outside of uniting white and black people together uh, on a platform that is never done in the history of the United States. Now, that couldn't have been anything to give us everyone war to, to actually make Americans colorblind for like a week before all this drama started. No, 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 that's nothing. But the killing thing that killed me the most is that the people who actually got upset about the, the Nobel Peace Prize, if you ask them, I don't think they ever knew who won the Nobel Peace Prize before. Do you know what I'm saying? These weren't like diehard Peace Prize fans. These weren't like guys, they reacted like these guys were painting themselves bronze and like tailgating over in Norway to find out who won. And then, oh, I had money on my guy. He didn't win? No, like, what? What? Uh, see, and this is where it starts. The hate, the jealousy. And then you hear he's doing too much. Then you heard he's doing too little. The Democrats are going, he's doing nothing. He's a Republican. And the Republicans have us convinced that this man who only plays basketball and sleeps all day has now time to overthrow the United States Constitution. I mean, really? Are we crazy? He's going to over... He can't seem to pass any of the bills that we need to be able to lower the tax break.
Our president, our president is weak. He doesn't know what he's doing. Our president found Osama bin Laden, okay? Now, you know what? This is what kills me. He didn't find Osama bin Laden. That was George Bush who did it. George Bush, who wasn't even in office. Well, he knew some of the same people that knew some of the people that were working in the military that got Osama bin Laden. So we're going to give it to George Bush. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It was done under, under Obama, okay? Every time we turn around, it's got to be some twisted reason. Well, if the economy's better, it's because George Bush accidentally left one thing in office to make sure the employment rate would come back up to 7.8% right before he left. They want to give everybody credit for Barack. 83 filibusters. How do you, fi you know what a filibuster is to people who don't read? People who just are like, well, we don't like Romney. We like Romney, we don't like Obama because he's not cool anymore. What are you talking about? You want to talk about a bit? The guy's got like biff hair. He's got, he's like, eh, 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 eh. when he walks, he walks on the balls of his feet like this. He lies about absolutely, watch some of the things. I'm, I'm for, I'm for abortion. I'm not for abortion. I'm for whatever you want me to say right now, just to let me have the job, please. I'm for everything. I, you know what? I, you know what? I love healthcare. In fact, I invented healthcare. I invented healthcare. It's the same as Obamacare, but you can't like Obamacare because Obamacare is different. <laughs> Obamacare is totally different. <laughs> Basically, if you put anyone else on, on a fire, it's like 47%. 47% of the people of the United States are scum. And then they got him on the firing squad, and he comes out and he's like, hey, 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 I must have left to take him out of context. And everyone's like, oh, we must believe him. Maybe it was an accident. Maybe we need to take it out of context. Maybe. 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 Maybe say it, say it, say it, Hosey. Maybe you only meant 10%. Yeah, maybe, maybe he meant 10%. 10 maybe, you know, he's always getting his numbers wrong. <laughs>